Welcome to the New England Journal of Medicine at the 2024 American Heart Association Scientific Sessions. I'm Stephen Morrissey, Managing Editor of the Journal, and I'm with Eric Rubin, Editor-in-Chief, and Jane Leopold, Deputy Editor. We're talking about the BP Road Trial, Intensive Blood Pressure Control in Patients with Type 2 Diabetes. Jane, this study looks at blood pressure goals in patients with both hypertension and type 2 diabetes. Is there a reason to think that we should be trying to achieve different targets in people with diabetes? Well, greetings from Chicago, and I think the the simple answer to that is no. We should be aiming to decrease blood pressure to goal for all patients, regardless of whether or not they have diabetes. What's important about patients with diabetes is that they have a higher risk of adverse cardiovascular events. So maintaining blood pressure at goal is extremely important in this patient population. And Eric, in the study, what did the investigators do and what did they find? Steve, this is a very large study from China in which investigators enrolled patients who are at least 50 years old, had diabetes, and an elevated risk for cardiovascular events. They were randomized to a low blood pressure group with a target systolic blood pressure of less than 120 and a higher group with a target of 140. The composite primary outcome included non-fatal stroke, non-fatal MI, treatment or hospitalization for heart failure, or cardiovascular death. Almost 13,000 participants were enrolled, and there was a very good separation in the systolic blood pressures which they had achieved between the two groups. Participants were followed for a median of more than four years. And the result, well, there were 393 composite outcome events in the low group and 492 in the high target group, a significant difference. While the total number of adverse events were similar in both groups, there was a more hyperkalemia and somewhat more symptomatic hypotension in the low blood pressure target group, though again, the numbers were rather small. So Jane, in clinical practice, how difficult is it going to be to reach the low target systolic blood pressures that were seen in the patients who benefited most in this study? Well, Steve, as anyone who practices clinical medicine will tell you that it is extremely difficult to get patients to goal, and this is something that many clinicians struggle with in the office. Our patients don't like taking medications, and especially they don't like taking many medications to try to get their blood pressure down. And then the more medications they take, the more side effects they have. So it makes it difficult to actually find a a therapeutic regimen that gets patients to goal. Um, I would say that this is something that is very common and, you know, we continue to work to try to get patients to understand the clinical benefits of having lower blood pressure. But, you know, we have to balance this with the risks uh, associated with polypharmacy. Thank you, Jane. And thank you, Eric. This study can be found at nejm.org.